up guys, Cute Ornus here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how my slime bending machine works and how to make it. So the things you will need to make it is a shoe box, any like box that is sealable, and you also need some pens or markers if you want to decorate it. You'll also need some cardboard, some hot glue, and you'll also need an exacto knife and I think a pencil, yeah. And you'll need a quarter because this vending machine requires real money. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So I made this button into a heart and let me just show you. So you have to pull it all the way out like so. And then once it's all the way out, you're going to want to put in your, oops, <laughs> I actually put it in the wrong way. Okay. You're going to put in your 25 cents. Now you're going to push. Uh -huh. So now, if you can see, there's something down there. Now you need to get it out. So you reach your hand in, and you got your glue and the good thing is it doesn't dispense your quarter so you can't get it back and on my slime vending machine I decorated it so there's a cactus a flower and Nickelodeon they have green slime so I made it like this and I use this little container and I'm gonna show you how it works so let me just turn this around okay Let me just. Okay, so. Let me just show you. This is how the inside looks. I have my activator, some paint, some mixing spoons, and over here is a contraption. And your quarter is right here, and it doesn't come out. Let me just put that on the side. Okay. Let's step into here and look what we're dealing with. As you can see, I have this little plate. And it's this cardboard where this sits on. And if you can see, the button, it, it can't hit it because it's too short. So that's why you have to pull it all the way out. So that way, when you put your quarter in, pushes it because the quarter goes in between it and it pushes it so what I do is since this might have fall down I put two supports and I hot glued it and you have to make some measurements to see how big the quarter is and how big your stuff is gonna be so once it's out you can color it I have some pinks purples blues I made this yesterday and it only took me about like three hours, I guess. Yeah. And I'm still gonna I'm gonna make an update video on it one day because I wanna make it so that there's a little compartment on the side here to hold all kinds of different types of slime like foam, glitters, different kinds of colors of paint jiggly slimes, water, anything you need to make different kinds of slimes. So I'm going to show you the progress of how to do it. So let's turn this around and let's... Oops. Sorry guys, my camera fell. <laughs> I'm going to show you how it looks to do it. So I'm going to do it again and close this back up. And I just used a shoebox that my dad gave me. And I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to do it again. So let's pull this back. Okay, so let's see how it works. Let me just push this up a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Pull this out all the way. Put your quarter in. And hold the box. Push. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to reach your hand in and get your glue. And 
now you're going to turn it over and color it. I think I'm going to go for a, some kind of color. I don't know. I just bought these paints also. So let's see what I'm going to color it with. Hmm. How about some nice blue? Let's move this aside. I want this kind of blue. So the blue I'll be using is, let's focus, pool blue. And I'm going to take this spoon. No, actually, I'll match it. I'll take the yellow spoon. And now you just want to close the box back up. Turn it around. And color your slime. Or your glue. So what you want to do is just open this up now. And it's just glue. So now you're going to take your paint. And... You're just going to color it. Just to, now you're going to color it. I'm just going to use a little bit. And let's color it. Let's move the light up. And color it. Just a little bit more. Okay, I think this blue is a really nice color, so I'm going to set my paint to the side. And now what you want to do is come all the way up here to your activator. And I'm just going to open the back again and pull it. I'm going to come to the side and let me just put this down here. I'm going to spray it now. So. I'm just going to take it out for the purpose of this video because I have to manage my camera and stuff. So just put that down and let me spray it now. Okay, as you can see, I sprayed a few pumps in. And now what you want to do is just mix it. And you can see it's forming already. Okay, so after a while of mixing, it should look like this and you should be able to touch it. So I'm going to go to hard surface instead of this carpet to show you how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to show you how my slime looks. So let's take it out. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, but my vending machine can hold up to one slime at a time. And this is how it turned out. It's really nice. It's really stretchy. I really like the color and the consistency. It's really good. Well, it is now the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed my slime vending machine. And comment down below if it helped you, if you were planning to make one, or if you just enjoyed. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you subscribe, hit that notification button. It's, it's very simple, it's just a click of a button. Oh, and if, if you were wondering what was on my thumb, I got burned by a hot glue gun. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. See ya.
in my next video. Bye!